we will now discuss the last step that is the refractory period of this conduction of impulse. What has happened so far is the membrane has become repolarized. And when we are discussing this at the same time, we will also have a quick recap also. So now what has happened is the membrane has become repolarized. It has again regained this positive charge, but the difference is it has regained it due to potassium ions. Now, there are sodium potassium pumps. So this is the membrane. And again, there is a protein, which is sodium potassium pump. It works again with expenditure of energy. When one ATP is hydrolyzed, whatever energy is released, that energy will be used to pump three sodium ions out in exchange of two potassium ions which would be going in. What has happened? Originally, it was electropositive due to presence of sodium ion. It became repolarized because of potassium ions going in. Here we are only talking about the charge. Electropositive, electropositive. Originally, it is electropositive due to sodium. When it gets repolarized, again electropositive, but there is a difference. The charge which is or the ion which is responsible for this is not sodium, it is potassium. So there has to be this correction of charges which needs to be done. So now sodium potassium pump works. This is called sodium potassium pump. And whenever we use a pump, it is normally energy consuming. So with one ATP spent, three sodiums from inside, that is from the neuroplasm, are pumped out into extracellular fluid. And in exchange, the potassium ions are taken in. So the potassium ions which, got, which went out due to opening of potassium channels, they come in and those sodium ions which moved in, they would be sent out. After this, again the membrane is going to have electropositive or membrane is going to be electropositive on the outer side but now it is again because of <clears throat> sodium ions. Now if we give the stimulus to this what is going to happen is the, the permeability will change and the channels which are going to open are sodium channels. So now is sodium available outside for moving in? The answer is yes. So now the membrane can be stimulated again. So nerve fiber can be stimulated again. And when we were talking about refractory period, we divided that period into two parts. First was absolute refractory period when this process has just begun. After some time, there would be sufficient number of sodium ions and now if the stimulus is given of more than threshold value, then the channels would open and sodium ions can come in. That means the nerve can be stimulated in the later part of the refractory period. Condition is the strength of the stimulus should be more than threshold stimulus. So we'll have a quick recap of the entire process. Originally, step number one, the membrane is polarized. What is a polarized membrane? It has electropositive and electronegative ends. The outer side is electropositive due to sodium ions which are present on the outer side. Electronegative because it has many negatively charged proteins inside. At this time, the resting potential is minus 70 approximately the millivolts. So this is resting potential. At this potential, what has happened is sodium channels are closed. In this situation, sodium channels are closed. So there is no movement. Step number two, when the stimulus is received, 
the membrane gets depolarized. What is going to happen in depolarization? In depolarization, say the stimulus is being received here at this point. Here there is no change. In this case, the membrane permeability has changed and the ions have moved in because at this time, sodium channels open. And because of this movement of ions, an action potential is generated. Action potential is generated. So now, from minus 70, it is going to come to 55. As soon as, minus 55, as soon as stimulus is received, the potential is going to become minus 55. At that, so here we will write at minus 55 millivolts. And how is this minus 55 attained? That is by the stimulus. Now, when the stimulus is there, the potential comes to minus 55. Sodium channels open, sodium ions come in, and an action potential is generated. It goes to plus 45 to plus 50. This is like the range where the action potential is. As soon as action potential comes to for plus 45 to plus 50, the sodium channels are going to close. So step number three is going to be repolarization. In repolarization, there are two things which are going to work. Number one, potassium channels open. And after this, step number four is refractory period. In refractory period, sodium potassium channels work. So in repolarization, what has happened to the membrane? At this point, again, the positive electropositiveness is on the outer side and this charge has, or this impulse has shifted. It has gone to this position from 1 to 2 to 2, 3 and so on. So this is how it is traveling. This is the direction in which the conduction is happening. So it has become repolarized, but this repolarization that is again becoming electropositive is due to potassium ions. After this comes the refractory period. Refractory period is actually correct arrangement or correct distribution of these you know, ions. So now during refractory period, it is a pump which is operating. So here sodium potassium channels work. What is this sodium potassium channel going to do? It is going to pump three sodium ions out in exchange of two potassium ions. So those potassium ions which went out or which were pumped out, now they are taken in and the sodium which were uh, ions which were inside, they are sent out. By this, there is correction done. So how is the correction now? The membrane is again electropositive on the outer side and electronegative on the inner side. But these positive charges are due to sodium. And now if this nerve receives a stimulus, again the same thing is going to happen. What is going to happen is as soon as it receives the stimulus, sodium channels are going to open. And there is enough sodium which is present outside. It can come in and again the same thing is going to happen. When we started this, we also started a graph showing how these changes are drawn. So if we do the same graphical representation here, in normal case, it is minus 70. That means the nerve fiber is at resting potential. Now, as soon as the stimulus is received, the membrane permeability changes and it comes to minus 55. This is the point when the sodium channels open. More and more sodium ions come in. So after this, the potential changes. It comes to zero and then goes to plus 45. This is the maximum. So this point that is minus 70 is the resting potential. This is the potential when sodium channels open. This is plus 45. This is termed as action potential. And at action potential, 
sodium channels close and potassium channels open. After this, this potential is going to again come back to 70. So this is the graph which we get when we are trying to show how this potential changes from resting to action. So this is the summary of conduction of nerve impulse. The steps, normally it is polarized, then it is going to get depolarized, that means the charges would be reversed. Then the charges would be again same, electropositive outside, negative inside. That is repolarization. But there has to be a correction made in distribution of these ions which are responsible for these charges. That is done in the refractory period. So this is how the nerve impulse is generated and conducted on the nerve 